sponsored by Executive Homes. Man, it's been tough going and dangerous for anybody who's been outside lately. Annie, I know your husband's a farmer. He's been pulling in the crops, sweating out there, right? It has been pretty rough out there, but they are excited to get it all pulled up. Now they're ready for some rain. Yeah, Don't figure. you can't you can't give everybody what they want, right, Julie? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Right. Heat advisory. Yes, we have another one going into effect for today, so we're not done with this heat or humidity yet. But we do have some big changes headed to the forecast. I'm going to go and show you that right off the bat because it's going to catch your attention. 101, 102 actual temperature readings this afternoon. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. Actual temperature readings. Yes, it's going to be extremely hot for today. When you factor in that humidity, it's going to feel easily like 110 later on. Watch what happens though. I'm going to timestamp this for you. It's six o'clock this evening, setting this into motion, all of a sudden dropping to those 70s. It's not until tomorrow, really going to notice that difference. High temperature, 85 degrees. That's it. We're stopping there. We're going to keep those north winds around for tomorrow. How about this? Pleasant in the 60s by tomorrow evening. And then as we head into Monday, 83 degrees for your daytime high. Yeah, almost sounds too good to be true. It's been a while since we felt 80 degree temperatures and it's going to feel fantastic. Cooler temperatures count down to cool. Here's what we're looking at for today. This is what everybody wants to know. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. further north, 11 p.m. to about 3 a.m. So a lot of us will probably be in bed. Yes, unfortunately, if dad's doing the grilling or even mom for that matter later on today, it's going to still be hot out there. We're going to keep those temperatures very warm, very humid until that north wind ushers in those cooler temperatures. 84 degrees here for Tulsa. South winds about 11 miles per hour. Dew points already in that muggy category to near oppressive, so it's not going to be a pleasant day. Feeling already, look at this, oh my gosh, Julie, 93 for your heat index over in Coweta and Inola, and it's still not even 9 a.m., so very impressive with that heat index values. For the afternoon, plenty of sun, south winds. In order for those temperatures to fall, we need to have a front coming through. And with that front, our extreme heat and our humidity, we do have some chances for marginal severe weather. Later on tonight, we're looking at winds. We're looking at the potential for some small hail. If you're Bartlesville, Ponca City, Coffeeville, look at this right now because this will be impacting y'all more than it will be impacting us here right here in Tulsa. We could get a straight shower or storm out of this. Not looking at anything severe here for Tulsa, but further north, that's where we're seeing a little bit more organization. 102 for your daytime high with a low of 72. 102, yeah, this is my day number two with triple digit heat before we, ah, oh, in the 80s, fall into the 80s, fall in love with those 80s, but 90s returning as we look towards the upcoming work week next week, Julie. Annie, thank you. Travelers are watched by.